The Finnish army will be added to Hell Let Loose. And this is by far the most interesting faction of all the factions that will be added in 2023. The British are nice to have, but are not that interesting. We all know what the British army looks like. The Polish are not that interesting because we all know what kind of weapons and what happened. But the Finnish army is a completely different story. Hello everyone, my name is Burning Wiki and welcome to my channel. And if you are not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel. Now, I want to talk about Finland and the Finnish faction that will be added to Hell Let Loose in autumn of 2023. And um, yeah, this is going to be very interesting because the big question is, who are the Finnish gonna fight or who are they not gonna fight because uh, they were in a war with um, the soviet union before world war ii because uh, the soviet union the communists wanted to annex uh, finland and um then they were in a war against nazi germany then later in the war uh, I think in 1944 uh, they signed a armistice and then they fought against Nazi Germany. These Finnish guys will fight anyone that tries to invade their country. And that is uh, the basics of it all. And that makes them very interesting because they can basically fight anyone in Hell Let Loose. They will fight the Germans, they will fight the Soviets, they will fight anyone that attacks their country and um, their weapons reflect this as well but i will get into that a little bit later into the video i first want to uh, tell you about the history of finland so finland participated in the second world war initially in a defensive war against the soviet union followed by another battle against the Soviet Union acting in concert with Nazi Germany and then finally fighting alongside the Allies against Nazi Germany. The first two major conflicts in which Finland was directly involved were defensive winter war against an invasion by the Soviet Union in 1939, followed by an offensive continuation war together with Germany and the other Axis powers against the Soviets. In 1941 through 1944, the third conflict, the Lapland War against Germany in 1944 till the end of the war in 1945, followed by signing the Moscow Armistice with the Allied powers, which stipulated expulsion of Nazi German forces from Finnish territory. By the end of the hostilities, Finland remained an independent country, albeit Finlandized, having to cede nearly 10% of its territory, including Fopuri, Finland's second largest city or fourth largest city, depending on the census data, pay out a large amount of war reparations to the Soviet Union and formally acknowledged a partial responsibility for the continuation war. So when the war ended, they did have to pay uh, some money and give land to the Soviet Union because let's be honest they were on the wrong side of the war to begin with it was always in defense of their own country and then later in offense so that's where they went wrong a little bit and yeah this has been uh, going on for a long time I think it was 1809 the Russian Empire seized Finland from Sweden in what is called the Finnish war and Finland Finland entered a personal union with the Russian Empire as a Grand Duchy with extensive autonomy. During the period of the Russian rule, the country generally proposed on 6 December of 1970 during the Russian Civil War, the Finnish parliament declared independence from Russia and this is where uh, Finland became its own country. And 
as I said earlier, the weapons reflect this. They got a lot of sidearms, including uh, Belgium-made American weapons, uh, American-made Belgium weapons like the Beretta 1917, the Beretta 1922, the Brining Howe-powered gun, the Colt 1911, the FN 1900, the 1903 and the 1910. They got the Mauser from the Germans. And uh, rifles, it is the same thing. It is a mix of all kinds of weapons, uh, including the Berdan rifle. Uh, small amounts have been used for home front troops. The Fedorov automatic captured from the Soviets. The Karabiner 98K from the Germans. The Mossen the Gaunt from the Soviets, albeit a Finnish version. The SVT and the SV40. The Winchester from the Americans. They also have a bunch of machine guns, including the Somni KP, the MP18, MP28, MP40 from the Germans, the KP M44 submachine gun, and a bunch of PPS, including the 34, the 38, the 40, the 42, the 43, and uh, yeah, they got, they have plenty of choices in weapons, machine guns as well, the FN Model D, the KGM-21, the Maxim machine gun, uh, the Vickers machine gun, the Chat, the Lathi Low, uh, excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, the Lathi Solarante M26, yes, um, the field artillery, there is no sword, it's howitzer guns, the 76mm gun, the 76 divisional gun, and of course the heavy artillery, but the anti-tank guns, of course, they have those, they have the English versions, the Bofors 37mm anti-tank gun, and they got the Madison 20mm cannon, to name but a few. And the best part is when you are an anti-tank player, you are spoiled for choices because the Finnish army has both anti-tank rifles and shoulder fired weapons. And the anti-tank rifles are like the boys anti-tank rifle, the PTRD-41 from the Soviets, of course, and the WZ-35 anti-tank rifle. And then they have the shouldered fired weapons and those are the Panzerfaust and the Panzer Shrek from the Germans and of course anyone can make them they got Molotov cocktails so they are spoiled for weapons and tanks it is the exact same thing because they have a huge mix of tanks including the Renault from France the Vickers from England they have the Su-76 the Isu-152 from the Soviets, the KV-1, the T-34 from the Soviets, the Panzer IV and the Sturmgeschütz or Stuck III from the Germans and they got armored cars as well, the FAI armored car. So this faction is by far the most interesting to be added into Hell Let Loose this year and I am looking forward to playing this I just don't like one thing and that it's uh, it's probably all gonna be winter maps right it's all gonna be snow maps again and I kind of like uh, more variation I, I would love to see more variation we have snow maps we have woodland maps I would like to see some desert or some tropical maps uh, I would love to have seen uh, the Japanese being added to uh, hell let loose so we could play in the pacific for example that would have been very nice but i am very pleased to see the finish being added because you don't actually get to play them in many war games i cannot think of a single world war ii game in which i can play the finnish army and neither the polish now that i think about it I, I can't think of a single game that lets me play as the Finnish or the Polish army. So yes, I'm looking forward to that. And how about you? Let me know. What do you think about the Finnish new faction and the Polish faction being added to Hell Let Loose? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, 
found this video interesting then please leave me a like subscribe to the channel to stay updated join us on our discord and follow me on twitter all the links are in the description my name is burning wiki and i will see you all next time